welcome to Clutch My Pearls, the podcast where I, Emily, learn all about the smutty books my friends are reading. As always, I'm joined by Vanessa and Barbara. Hi. Hey. 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 So excited to be here. We still haven't gotten good at saying highs and byes, (laughs) but we're working on it. Maybe episode 12. Yeah. (laughs) I think I was just playing into that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, So this is... (laughs) Yeah, we got it. Um, Cool. (laughs) Yeah, you don't sound like that. (laughs) So today's episode is the last episode we have of the year. This is our... Technically kind of like our last Christmas episode that's coming yeah. out the day after Christmas. I hope you have the best Christmas ever. I hope Santa was good to you and I mm-hmm. hope that um, you had a great holiday season. And, and if you were bad, you probably got <gasps> sex ed books Ooh. from Ooh. Satan. I hope Satan brought you sex ed books if you were a bad girl or boy Ooh. or them or they, whatever. <laughs> Everybody can be bad. <laughs> um, I'm excited for today because today we have a presentation from Vanessa. Vanessa, what are we going to do? Well, I have a little drama. Uh, uh, so I know we've like kind of talked about like our very first episode. I don't know if we've talked about it on the show, but we've talked about the first time we ever recorded. Mm-hmm. Our lost and, yes, hidden episode. Forbidden episode. Episode yes. zero. So bad. I the first interrupted time ever- and mm-hmm. was like, um, it's been 45 minutes and we haven't done anything. Uh-oh. So we, we just stopped recording and went, okay, let's regame. <laughs> yeah. We just needed to practice like being in front of a microphone and yeah. and at the time holding a microphone and then not real- realizing for a couple episodes that every time we moved the microphone, mm-hmm. it made a fucking noise. Yeah. That was fun to learn. I think though. also <laughs> for that first episode, we just really didn't have like a good like formula. And yeah. I feel like I just spent too much time talking about the book. And I couldn't keep up. I think you just have well, to. Well, it was a reverse harem, white shoes, whatever you want to call it. And mm-hmm. Emily, there was four four guys uh-huh. and emily could not keep up i was like she wait is that the blonde one is that the is wait this, is that no it so was, i was think fantastic. it was too advanced obviously for our <laughs> yeah. first episode but um it has such a clo- it's so close to our hearts like yeah. I, I wish that it was like maybe we'll maybe we'll put it together and do a maybe little... we'll do it next christmas but mm-hmm. yeah i think or maybe Obviously, if you want to see the forbidden footage, maybe we'll put it we'll, out. We'll have to look at it and Do see. We'll figure I'll it out. Deer in headlights. <laughs> One point, an alarm went off on the computer because oh, we yeah. asked Jeff oh, to set a timer. God. Yeah, but it went it in. off. It went off like five minutes <laughs> in because we thought it would be like an hour, and it went off five minutes in, and we just went hell. We need an adult. No. Yeah, we called, I think we called Jeff and Eric in here a few times to be yeah. like, we don't know what we're doing. But that's how you learn. That's what they said. I know. So. They didn't know we were doing either. Yeah. <laughs> but I also, I think, um, what was I going to say? The book that we did for episode zero is where, like, when oh. you would read the books, I would, this was the first book you told me about, like, mm-hmm. in real yes. life. Mm-hmm. The sh- that This book definitely kind of birthed the episode. The I feel show. like this is, like, yeah. I mean, the show. I'm sorry. This book birthed the show. Yes. Mm-hmm. It definitely was one of, like, the first books that I read after I finished, like, Akatar and Throne of Glass. Mm. Um, so I didn't even read it during Christmas. It was like over the summer. Yeah. And I would come into the break room at work and just tell Emily all about this book yes. and, and look it would make her clutch her pearls. And I really, <laughs> mm-hmm. so of course she wanted to do it for the first episode. Yeah. And I was... want to know more about it. Yeah. It was called Tangled in Tinsel. Mm-hmm. And, um, it's definitely a good book, but, um, and there's some other ones that have come after that, that by the same author that I've read that I really like. Who's the author? Trulia Pucci? I don't know. I'm not 100% <laughs> sure off the top of my head. But should I look it up? It's Emily Hormer. It's, yeah. Was, yes. <laughs> it's been me this whole time. That's why I was like, oh my God, we should talk about that book. Well, we're not <laughs> We're not doing it today. I don't know. Well, of <laughs> <laughs> we'll yeah. figure out the author name some other time. Yeah. <laughs> Look it up. You know, I'm an advocate for don't do that homework. <laughs> well, so I, I had told a client at work about a book apparently, and she had come in and was like, I read that book that you told me about. And it was the nastiest book I've ever read. Oh, hell yeah. And <laughs> I was, was immediately it? like worried. Uh-huh. Was it Tangled and Tinsel or was it a different book? No, one? it was a different book. What um, book was it? Do you remember? Pucking around. Oh, I've something. heard of this one. Yeah, because it's another reverse harem, isn't it? Yes. I want to do yes. that one too. I haven't done a reverse harem. I, it... I read like three and a half, four chapters of Tangled and Tinsel uh-huh. for our episode zero, and I got I got scared. Oh, and I, like, she just backed out. Oh, I got it. Just but, turned but it down. I've been, no, 
that's probably why I was so nervous because Barbara just <laughs> threw it to me. <laughs> it's all my fault. <laughs> She's like, look, you can take all of these guys. <laughs> You're on your own. It's overwhelming. <laughs> so this book is fucking nasty. It is. Tangled with Tinsel? No, no, no. no. I mean, yes. Tucking around. That book's look, nasty I can't, too. already can't keep up. <laughs> See? <laughs> well, so I had... We're wide choosing our own book this episode. <laughs> Basically. There's a lot of books I'm going to mention, so keep up. <laughs> <laughs> or don't. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but when I found out how much she loved the book, I was like, oh, you have to read Tangled and Tinsel. Okay, uh-huh. yeah. And so I think kind of what we always talk about, how like your friends like i don't want to read about like normal stuff right. i want to read about mm-hmm. fancy she only wants to read three or more oh Hell my yeah. god i and love she, it i she's just like i you know rolls up in her minivan and is like a mom oh and stuff where she's yes. like this is what i she's want. a busy businesswoman also yeah. oh i must my god. add yeah but so i told her i was like tangled and tinsel mm-hmm. you gotta read it she literally read it in one sitting at the salon. I mean, it's a short book, yeah. but she I saw was... her holding her phone and just clicking, clicking, yeah. clicking. Uh, I love yeah. that for her. Straight face. <laughs> it was amazing. Straight shampoo bowl. This is, like, still, this is like still my first like interest in this. I'm like, what is this happening? And then whenever people would come in to the salon and I'd be like, you know, I'd find out and I'd be like, oh, Vanessa reads those snail trail books that so you read. They're mm-hmm. up at the desk with me for a good Yeah. 15. And I mean, the episode, the series came from you sitting in my chair, yeah. me doing your hair, and the two of y'all going at it. And I'm like, this mm-hmm. is our podcast. This is it. Emily's out there telling everybody my business. Yes. And then they come to the front desk and they want all the recommendations. <laughs> and I have no idea how far to go or how like, low to go. <laughs> now that I have Love Light Farms, I have You're something. Ready. To... The hating game for clients. Yeah. Like. You have like your Rolodex. <laughs> So I'm like, yeah. okay, you know, episode yeah. 10 would be good for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How many chili peppers are we yes. talking here? So when she was done with her appointment and done with a book, she had told me that she had read something very similar mm-hmm. called Unwrapped by Them. Mm-hmm. And that was going to be my um, choice yeah. for this episode. Right. But I could not find it anywhere, oh, even wow. though it just came out. Had you seen it before at all? No, uh-huh. um, this is just something that she had told me about. And like yeah. I said, it had just come out like probably the month before she told me about it. This was mm-hmm. a while ago. Yeah. Um, but it's just missing. So there's some drama. Oh, apparently, you found, like TikToks on it. I found one. Okay. But apparently the Tangled and Tinsel writer went on her Instagram stories and was basically calling it a big old copycat. Oh. And the author who wrote Unwrapped by Them, mm-hmm. she just got tons of hate oh, from oh. fans. Yeah. Wow. But I mean, and the premise, I is assume there's not, not... It's it's the same sort of thing of where if, if someone were to be like, hey, mm-hmm. I had another busy businesswoman who went to a tiny Christmas town and yeah. they fell in love with yeah. the small town wood shop guy. You read them once. They're all read kind them all. of yeah. the yeah. same. And, you know, there's... There's no such thing as an original idea. Book talk drama gets that's yes. scary yes. though. There's yeah. always some nonsense. Like I remember hearing about this author that faked her own death. What? Oh. Yeah. To increase yeah. the sales. Book talk <gasps> like drama. I, there's somebody that I think I follow who like just recaps. She's like a news reporter. She's like, all right, here's all the drama from book talk in the last week or so. Wow. But yeah, there was an author apparently who faked her own death and then came out and announced it and was like, just kidding. I did that for like review attention on just, my novel oh. and i've been here the whole time like yeah Yikes. I, yeah there's always something i try to stay a little bit away from it and just stay in a little bubble with my books but yeah it's always funny when you kind of stumble across something like that yeah i didn't want to like go too deep yeah. into it because i just don't i mean i just i'll read anything i don't really like like right. for the i feel like every time i try to look a book up on tiktok it's always like the name of the author and then like controversy oh, There's yeah. every single time so yeah. i just stay oh everybody's got something to say about everything right yeah but um, you just want to read you just want to read about I just four read. dudes banging a chick i'm like, here for the smut like yeah. let's just yeah <laughs> we're just here to have fun yeah. here to have, you know yeah. teehee so the feet. one video that I did watch, I just thought was interesting, is that they basically said what you said, is that there's no original idea, especially when it comes to stories. And right. Smut. Yeah. Because yeah. um, the premise of the book is snowed in with some dudes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And literally, that's the premise of How many different lot. ways can you possibly yeah. go yeah. there? <laughs> my, yeah. uh, my friend Laura, who is a big fan of the band The Sinners, which is a a whole series and um as she calls them girl porn books yeah. uh i was telling her about the 
tangled and tinsel. Same kind of premise. And she goes like, oh, that's like when the sinners, ba- like tour bus got, you know, snowed, like couldn't drive anymore. Oh and there was only God. one girl on the tour bus. Oh, <laughs> oh so is it like a white shoes? Like yeah. Every- oh, yeah, yeah, with the sinners. That's oh, the name boy. of the band. Okay, oh, I definitely boy. need a deep dive to see how spicy We gotta go Laura- on tour with the sinners. <laughs> it's, de- it's decided. <laughs> I just want to see how spicy Laura gets. Honestly, yeah. that's, that's like my number one reason for wanting to read people's recommendations because I'm always so curious. Like It tells what- you a lot about them. Yeah. 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 Well, not, but not. It does and it doesn't. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. Well, <laughs> if I'm asking you what your nastiest book is, oh, yeah. come with it. Yeah. 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 Get ready. Come with it because I'm judging. I don't want no love life farms. <laughs> I feel I like I'm pucking around. I feel like you're this really what this is doing is leveling me up because we talked last episode about how like I feel like we're coming from different spots in the spectrum where yeah. you're like, I want to be impressed at how nasty this is. And I'm like, oh, they're in love. Also, yeah. they had sex, but they're in love. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why reverse harem is hard for me because I'm like, how can you fall in love with four different people all at once? I know I'm well, a Libra, it but like happens, <laughs> babe. <laughs> pucking, uh, pucking around. Uh-huh. I think that's the hockey one. Hockey yeah, one. I hope that's the name of it. Uh, maybe we'll do a book. Wasn't there one called Losers that you would read? Maybe. Yeah, I'll... that one. Is that yeah. is that harems? Yeah. It's maybe harems. I'll, maybe I'll be brave. It's, yeah, it's four dudes and one girl. Oh. And they are in love, babe. <laughs> All right, and I, I will reserve around, judgment. They are in love, also, and all of them. Two of the dudes are in love. Ooh, there's a lot. There's a lot of love. That's a lot, a of, lot love, of love. Right? Mm, there's a lot of scenes right. to read. Maybe that'll have to be like an extra, like two parter. Oh, That's gonna yeah. get complicated when they have to find each other in every lifetime. The logistics of that is, uh, oh my god. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. We'll okay, see. so um, oh, I I looked up the author's name unwrapped mm. by them by eva ashwood okay and then what is the tangled and tinsel author oh, julia okay <laughs> Typing, looking up <laughs> looking up truly a poochie i was right oh huh trulina poochie <laughs> mm-hmm. i don't know if it's a real name okay yeah <laughs> I didn't say anything because she's gonna we, fucking write Instagram stories right. about me. We get we get real spun up on the names. But I don't I don't okay. want anybody coming for me ever. I'm anything. just I'm just um putting it out what I saw on TikTok. Oh no, no, no I'm not yeah. saying I'm I'm making fun of no one's name. Nothing no. we say is ever um correct or reliable and you should never quote or us. serious. <laughs> well, everything <laughs> sounds dirty to us also because we're correct. 12 year old boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah, so I had to deviate. Yeah, because you couldn't find it. Yeah, could not. I even asked um, the client Kelly. Yeah, mm. put her name Does out there. Does she have it? Ooh, Kelly. I Hi, asked Kelly. her if she like. I even was gonna buy a physical copy. That's how yeah. far I was willing She's to ready. go. Like, did she have it in yeah. her Kindle library? No, she didn't. Dang. Yeah, mm. but also I don't want to ask to borrow another woman's Kindle. Like, I what? It's personal. Yeah. I'd have to give her mine. That would be like, weird. oh, that's true. Mm. I guess I didn't know if you could like send Take it. Take one, to leave each other. one. I don't, yeah, I don't know how that works. I don't think so. What if we had like a little, one of those like little neighborhood libraries? <laughs> that's <laughs> actually so somebody at your bridal shower uh-huh. was saying that they load up, somebody will load up like a Kindle. Mm-hmm. What, obviously, they're not doing Kindle Unlimited. They're like buying the books yeah. and then they'll pass them, they'll pass the Kindle off to a friend. Oh. Once it like, Where it's has... like here's some books that I liked. Yeah, that's what smut really is bonding. Yes, mm. fan bondage. Hey, hey. okay. <laughs> I feel like today's episode is a wide shoes because we're t- we're kind of talking about a couple of different things. Yeah, yeah. Well, I it's think it's holidays. Also, like, we're kind of just <laughs> fun to learn like how we like got, got yeah 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 like yeah. our origin story and the like you know the the forbidden episode that is just yeah again whenever we're in a better place we can. Uh, <laughs> we'll look back at it and you can see how much we've grown in just such a short amount of time but yeah and hopefully unwrapped by them comes back i mean i don't yeah. see why what the big big deal is you know yeah. there's literally in that video there was like a hundred books all called tangled in tinsel and they were all smut oh. good lord i'm talking like half naked men yeah on the front and then the snowden category uh-huh. on goodreads has literally like five thousand books I wonder why she specifically came after that. I one. mean, it is a snowed in Christmas billionaire CEO, CEO kind of. Oh, right. Because they're all just like rich CEO. Oh, right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But well, you know, when you finish a book and you really love it, and you're like, wow, I wish I could read that all over again. Yeah. This is how you do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Anyway, so you had to, you had to okay, hard so left. Okay, so I am. She had so to yeah. why choose? She had to choose. I had to choose another. So <laughs> I chose Mistletoe Bet, which I mentioned, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. You were talking about how you had read that and you just like, were like, no, I just read that for me. I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, it, I have a love-hate relationship with holidays, oh. I feel like. Mm. Like, I feel like they're like Hallmark books or mm-hmm. Hallmark movies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're really not, they're really not the best. Yeah. you know what i mean like the mafia just... aren't really doing a lot for the holidays they're not <laughs> doing christmas books yeah they're not pucking around oh, no. yeah like the season is on break but yeah. when you want it nothing else will that's what you want yeah so yeah. so it, yeah. and they're all they're all novellas i feel like mm. most of the time which is fine and I, I think what the funniest thing is is that I notice on these books is that people are reading these to reach their book count for the they year. They need their numbers. Oh, yeah. 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 And so I'm like, okay, is this like a, is this like a niche of like the book world that I don't know about? They're just like these little novellas at the end of like Christmas. Like, so you can like get your numbers. Oh yeah. my God. Everybody's run out of time and they know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got to hit my mark. I'm trying to read a hundred books by the end of the year. How, is, how, are is your, how are you doing? I think I'm at like 90 something, okay. Okay. but okay. I'm close. Yeah. You'll just, you know blast out some novellas yeah, yeah. and if i, I don't hit it it's fine you will it's fine you will it'll year. be fine but yeah. you will but you yeah. will yeah um so mistletoe bet. yes okay so, so, so. Mm. is this a is mistletoe bet a novella yeah it's only 131 pages okay ah. Came out November 2021 by Marin Moore. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of books that we've covered that have come out with, since 2020. I feel I like 2020, everyone went, fuck it. I'll, I'll try writing. <laughs> well, I'm home anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like also like a lot of the times whenever I find books on Book Talk mm-hmm. or Instagram, it is a book that I noticed has come out in the past. Okay. And I yeah. think I've said that before. And I think it just takes a while for it to like hit the circle Cutch up yeah. yeah 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 and become like mm-hmm. a recommended yeah you know especially if it is just a lot of self-published and there's no like you know yeah. big business backing it or anything yeah mm-hmm. a lot of the times all the that's how i hear about any mm-hmm. book because it's through instagram okay so let me read so yeah the, the synopsis, synopsis. Yes. mistletoe bet mm-hmm. yes it's okay. super hallmark okay. i bet it's like okay if I win this bet, you have to kiss me under the mistletoe. <laughs> wow. That's there you it. go. There's there's Emily Hornberg. Take it away. <laughs> I'm not going to read that. <laughs> Everyone says there's no place like home. Well, not for me. When I'm forced to spend the holidays at home with my family in Strawberry Hollow. Okay. Strawberry Hollow. Hollow. Again, the name's <laughs> yeah. bad. It's bad. Oh it's bad. But you know Strawberry? This is a recurring thing with our strawberries. There was one where the oh strawberries killed the guy, or it could have mm. killed him. And then the other one, didn't he like call her yeah, strawberry? Yeah, he called her shortcake because Sh- she grew up on a strawberry cake. farm. That's right. This is, what, is that the uh, hating game? Yeah, eleven episodes, and we're finding all of these like Stella yeah. Blossom and Bloom. Like, there's there's strawberries. We're building a whole universe. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. So they're in Strawberry, strawberry Hollow. Hollow. They're hanging out in Whoville. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm forced to spend the holidays at home with my family in Strawberry Hollow. I have no idea how I'm even going to survive the week, let alone make it through my least favorite holiday, Christmas. Oh. She's the Grinch. Oh. She's the Grinch. She's is this like a grumpy sunshine situation? Kind of. Kind of? Okay. okay. That okay. is until I run into my childhood crush and my brother's best friend. Brother's Ooh. best friend? Pleasure Dom? Huh? Mm-hmm. He is kind of... Uh, anyways. Uh, oh. Parker. Oh, so we know it's going to be nasty because Vanessa's read it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's why you said i'm so excited actually, i actually had to read it twice about- <laughs> <laughs> technically um get those numbers uh- <laughs> so his name is parker grant parker grant that's okay. a hot name that's yeah. a wealthy name mm. now he's the sexy off-limit doctor in our small town and nothing like the man i left behind six years ago oh while i hate the holidays there's nothing that he loves more well other than a good bet which is exactly what happens when we end up together under the mistletoe, a bet that changes Ooh. everything. Ooh. He asked for the next seven days to change my mind about Christmas, but seven days alone with Parker Ugh. is more than any of us <laughs> bargained Emily for. Emily and I looked at each other and went, Ugh. <laughs> 
seven days too long for you? No, it's just the most like, I'm going to change your idea about Christmas. You're going to love Christmas. What's that Christmas movie with the, you know, the ghost of Christmas past? And yeah. Oh, I mean, it right. just seems like such a like seven Scrooge. days to, you're going to learn to, I don't know. We've you're going to learn like, the meaning of uh, Christmas. <laughs> And I'm going to show you, like, if you're see, going to school, see how happy these kids are. You know, let's meeting, go to that fucking Christmas tree farm where they're not fucking the meeting of Christmas and my cock. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, okay. you're going to change your mind anyway. <laughs> so let's see. But seven days alone with Parker is more than any of us bargained for. Now there's so much more at stake than a silly mistletoe bet. So. I'll tell you right now. Mm. She doesn't like Christmas because her parents got divorced. And, <laughs> okay. you know, split holidays. You can still get two of them. Valid. So valid. Okay, yeah. yeah. And so basically when she graduated, she went away to school. She's from New York. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Yet again. <laughs> so she went to NYU and basically just never came back home. Damn. Yeah. Wow. For holidays. And okay. so she just wants to, like, be a busy businesswoman. Mm. No time to come back for holidays. I bet she didn't go see the Rockettes either. She probably, Damn you know, it. it's funny. She talks about how she works so much that she doesn't even really get to enjoy the city. Oh. So she definitely has not seen the fucking Cannot Rockettes. enjoy the Rockettes? Cannot. Yeah. But, yeah, so she she stays away, and she doesn't like to be around for the holidays especially. So I think that's kind of mm. why. Yeah. All right. I mean, I know. My parents divorced. I don't remember them ever being together, which I feel like is the best way to go about it because they, I, I've never known anything else. Oh, yeah. My so. parents divorced at 18 and it was like, what? Yeah. Strategy. This is weird. Just do it before I even know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> they could have done this a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Save me some trauma. There you go. Yeah. Because we're perfectly, everything's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. You guys are- <laughs> Anyway. I've only been doing this for my whole life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my parents are still together, but it's fine. Lucky dog. Oh, <laughs> So he's going to teach her, come back home. You're going to yeah. love Christmas. You're going to fall in love with me. Yeah. yeah. Did they ever date? No. Or, okay. Because it's so, the, the whole, something about how you said like the, the man she left behind six years ago. Oh, yeah. He's just not. Was, he's not the same. Okay. She just Basically, hasn't been home in six years. Yeah. Okay. She was. He's only a couple years older than her. So when she graduated, he was probably still in school. Brother's best friend. Yeah. Gotcha. But they were like tight. Like, mm-hmm. you know, mom would always make them take her with them do right. stuff together it's kind mm. of like a hating game okay sibling's best friend hating game love Wait, light no. farms. what was it love light farms what was he scared her a bunch oh Dorian. pleasure dom hollow's girl wasn't that like her best friend's brother yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. he was waiting in the wings to yeah. jump out and scare you <laughs> so probably yeah. the same as this okay yeah well she's been in love with him her whole entire life <gasps> all, right. She had a crush. all right yeah but she was always like he doesn't want me because i'm just some stupid i'm the little kid's sister exactly yeah. Yeah. exactly okay. so they never did anything no not but yet. he's always been kind and a little flirtatious and not flirtatious but just like like best friend like kind of like a brother Ugh. But only because they were young. Only because he's around. Only because they it's grew up together, like siblings. Friends. Yeah, and then and then you learn about your changing body and your changing feelings. Yeah. <laughs> so she, so she wouldn't even like see her brother at Christmas. No, she never. Yeah, she never. Came yeah, home. so he's like, oh, you're in town. You're back in Strawberry Fields. Whatever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry Hollow. Uh, sorry. Remind me, why does she come back home this year? So her mom is like. Please come. Like, she's been guilting her. Please okay. come home. W- me and your dad have worked some things out. Okay. Sure. And we want to be... We're going to be a family again. Basically, <laughs> kind you of. Save Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if you don't come home, it's not going to work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's... Okay. All right. So she comes home, and immediately her mom's having, like, this big party, this big Christmas party, and, like, the whole town's there. And she's there in her, like, Valentino dress and her Louboutins, like, straight from New York. Busy mm. businesswoman. Probably in all black. I don't remember. She's not wearing, she's definitely not wearing, like, a candy cane earring or anything. Oh, <laughs> hell no. But he does show up in a candy cane <gasps> tie. Oh, okay. he's got the spirit. He's and the like sunshine. A, like mm-hmm. a, yeah, sport coat. And he's got little candy cane cuff Oh, so he's festive. He, he's so festive. Parker. He's festive. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> So at the, at the end of the Quit party, um, everybody's kind of like left and they're under the mistletoe. <gasps> Ooh. Stuck. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so basically he tells her, I'll make a bet with you. Uh-huh. Spend a week with me. We'll go see the Rockets. Yes. Wait. You're going to love Christmas. <laughs> uh-huh. And I think she's supposed to participate in like a musical. Oh. The the Rockets? <laughs> that like her mom puts on with like the like the townspeople. The kids. She like Christmas to- caroling? No. I don't I, I don't really know. Like it's love actually. Like a play. Oh. Where you see the Christmas play. <laughs> yeah, and she has okay. to like dress up in like tights like an elf or something. And oh, so boy. he okay. said if she falls in love with Christmas Uh-huh. And him. Yes. Mm-hmm. Then he wins and he doesn't really want anything. Mm. But he if wants something. she falls in love with Christmas or wait, if she doesn't fall in love with Christmas then he will take her place in the musical and he'll wear the tights. Oh. So she'll get okay. out of her little embarrassing thing that her mom's doing. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So they do the bet. What is his first way that he's like, I'm going to make you love Christmas? I feel like I've oh, read. We... Oh, wait. You've read this? Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> you start your part and then we're going to do the page. I feel like with like the number of books that I've read, this is going to go one of two ways. It works well and it's great. Or everything he plans goes to absolute hell. And it's just like they find the joy together anyway. Oh. But it's either going to be like he like slowly shows her that everything's amazing. Or everything he plans just falls apart. And they're like, wow, we're so in love. And also, I told you about Christmas. But they find the spirit later. Yeah. <laughs> right. Anyway. We'll see. So, yeah. It's interesting. There's like those are the two ways that probably have some of the what was it, the grumpy sunshine yeah. kind of stuff goes. Yeah. 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 This book has been done a hundred times. I mean, of course. Yeah. So let's guess some pages. Let's How guess many some pages? pages? Is it? 131. 131. And it's a Vanessa book. <laughs> let's, let's keep this in mind. Let's keep it in mind. It's a Vanessa book. It's, uh... Page four? <laughs> <laughs> is it on the cover? Um, I'm just going to say 69. Oh, 54. Ooh. I was right. Ooh, nice. I nailed it. <laughs> nice, nice. Price is right, Rolls. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so they, how does he start to prove that Christmas is so amazing? So he literally shows up the very next day after the party, like 9 a.m. <laughs> like she's hung like over. Like jingle bells and a wreath. Jingle bells. And let me tell you, her mom's house, uh-huh. I think her mom's name's Stacy, which I think is just so funny because they say it all the time. But her house is like your house. The china is Christmas. Uh, the coffee cups are Christmas. Yes. Christmas music is playing. Her mm-hmm. mom is making peppermint bark, gingerbread cookies. It is the North Pole. It is yes. the North Pole. It's the Pole. headquarters 100%. of Christmas. <laughs> Which is my living room currently. Right. Yes. yes. You're right that yeah. I switch out all of my Christmas china and yes, it's like Like, I'm surprised you don't have silverware with a Christmas tree and a bell on it or I something. I have my Spode serving dish like serving spoons but our actual silverware no not step yet. it up emily not yet step maybe it up. next year one more trip to the rockettes and it's just gonna show up in your house <laughs> <laughs> so like also her mom's making like peppermint mocha mm. coffee she is she is a christmas elf yes 100 percent. so he shows up at 9 a.m in jingle bells i'm lost he no, sh- he, uh, okay. just more like he's just like Jingle Bells. I'm here. Like okay, I'm okay, picturing okay. the Hallmark Emily, movie. I think Emily said that. No, yeah, I'm. I'm picturing. The, I literally like, pictured him dressed up like Santa or something. Maybe, no, and I was no, like, no. what? Okay, okay. No, no. I just <laughs> feel like I'm like every Hallmark movie. It's always them like banging on the door, holding like okay, a wreath, okay. and like, well, Jingle Bells, and she's like, what time is it? Well, actually, her mom wakes her up, and she's like, you need to come downstairs someone's here for you yeah and she's like what are you talking about and then she's like oh shit he was serious and we're getting this started all right okay so he takes her to a christmas tree (gasps) farm was it love light farm it was there raccoons no (laughs) no weird brother sister making out with all their clothes on those siblings are very in love (laughs) comfy pants god okay Uh. okay (laughs) So they go to pick out a Christmas tree. And okay. of course, she's like, I'm too hungover for this. He's like, I promise you won't have to do anything. But they get into like a big argument over like what kind of tree. And she quickly realizes like, well, one, she's totally still into him. Yeah, of course. She's trying hard to fight it. But how could you not be? He's just so handsome. Give in, girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But also she's realizing that they used to have like a really like bickering kind of relationship. Yes where yes yes yes, yes. Okay. yes. all right Barbara's in. I'm yeah. in. I'm in. friends with tension yes you need oh, a little bit of yeah. it so it's very combative you know he thinks they need a short one she wants a big tall one i bet she does yeah mm-hmm. they get they do have some fun like uh-huh. back and forth size banter. girth 
Oh, taut. little teeth, oh, little titillation. Okay, okay. She's like, you just like the ones that are short and sausage like. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So it's very like funny. He's like, I don't know if you can fit this tree through your doorway. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. So they pick out, and it's actually his first Christmas tree. That he's had, like, on his own. Oh. So, like, even though he's been moved out of his parents' house, you know, he, obviously he still lives in a small town, but he's never really done any of the Christmas stuff on his own oh. because he's been so busy being, like, a doctor. Busy businessman. Yeah. Mm. It, well, this is the first time he's, like, hired someone to, like, help him out at his practice. He has his own oh. practice. It is cold and flu season. Yeah. So he has, like, a nurse <laughs> practitioner That's helping true. him out. So he's finally, like... And this COVID, too. Taking, oh, my God. Shut up. <laughs> He's taking some time. There's no COVID in this book. It's a Christmas. Someone keeps coming in <laughs> allergic to strawberries and keeps COVID passing out. COVID kills office. the vibe. <laughs> I thought you loved it. COVID is such a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> Not in my smut. <laughs> okay. Okay. So he's taking her on all these little. It was his first time, too. So he's, like, oh, super right. excited. Yeah. So he's, like making he's like trying doing his like own traditions and then like doing it with her so it makes it kind of sweet because like he pulls out an ornament and it's like a picture of the three of them when they were like a kid and yeah so it's kind of cute yeah so he picks her up later that night because he's got to go to work and he's like come over and we'll decorate the tree together and then they fuck. <gasps> like, right, like, first Page night. four. Page four. I yes. knew it. I knew it. <laughs> yes. Okay, what's his deal? Has he always wanted her or, like... Yes. yes. Like, yes. he's like, this is my opportunity. But there's still tension. I think it was just one of those things where it's like, she was really young and her brother's best friend. And, like, I can't moved, do that with my brother's her best, best friend. Yeah. 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 And so, she's never even home. Yeah. Mm. And then she came back looking like a million bucks, apparently. And he immediately got to it as opposed to taking 10 years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. No, he was ready. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. He was ready. Okay. So, um, if you want to read. Do we want to read? I can tell you a little bit more. I want to. Let's do. Yeah, let's read. Let's. Because we're at that point, And then yeah. we can see how the story progresses. Do we need after. to know how they lead into it? Like, they're going to decorate the tree. And then, boom, they're decorating yeah, each other. Yeah, literally, they're decorating the tree. Uh, he and has he, a like, dog named behind her. Marshmallow. He has a dog named Marshmallow. Oh, and he like, he, like, picks her up. And marshmallow or the girl the girl to oh. like put the angel on the tree oh. and oh. she slides down his body yaddy oh. yaddy oh. and she gets stuck on a branch it's but such it's a classic it, and it works every time so they're close and then the dog comes running in and pushes them together oh. and then they kiss Hallmark. and of course he's like i'm so sorry and she's like no i want to and he's like good because i want to good let's and they, get so to then it. they do sh- it by the tree no, she gets on him like a little koala. They're kissing <laughs> all the she's way. so tiny, I'm sure. Oh, no, she's not tiny. She's plus size. Oh, I love it. They mentioned it a little bit, and I think a lot of people were kind of like annoyed at some of the reviews that she wasn't like, she was mentioned that she's plus size, but that or that she's like curvy, uh-huh. but that they don't really like talk about it a lot. No one's so, ever happy with how I know. Yeah. I know. Like, it's just... I'm like, I don't really give a fuck. Yeah. Like, tell yeah. me that she has curves. Yeah. I love it. Great. But I don't really need to hear about, like, how it being that affects a thing. her, like, as a It doesn't person. need to be a plot point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It just is. Yeah. It's just more of, like, building up, like, your visual in your head. Right. You know? Squeezing on her big ass. Yeah. Yeah. And Malou, like, yeah. yeah. She's, this like, big it. tits, big ass. That's what's it. That's what's <laughs> okay, it. Okay, so... I, um... I'm really worried they're going to have sex around the dog. No. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Go. Oh, she gets on him. He they, carries her. Yeah, okay. they go up to the master bedroom and he kicks the door shut. Okay, good. <laughs> Marshmallow. <He's>, ow! <laughs> <laughs> He's a doctor. It'll be fine. <laughs> Marshmallow's just like, well, I guess I'll just wait out here. Okay. <laughs> so, I, um, the first coming uh-huh. is not penetration. Of course. Um, But I did... If you keep clicking, you'll hit a little. It's not very far away when okay. they do penetrate, <laughs> and it's only like four pages, I think. Okay. 
Um, Vanessa, I feel like every time we do a Vanessa episode, you're like, we can do two scenes. Yeah. We, can <laughs> we can do, do three. Let's just Fine. read the whole thing. Do you want to read them both? I don't mind. <laughs> I mean, do what you want to do, you know? Let's just see. <laughs> She's like, I just, I just feel like we should do like the first like coming of her, of him, and the first like insertion. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> first two hour episode yeah like <laughs> is that gonna be when we do a re- like a wide shoes of where it's like ev- her first coming with each one <laughs> well yeah because there's there's individual scenes and then of course when they're all together oh my and god and then sometimes oh. it's like there's a new one and so then they gotta do a scene all together oh. i'm not ready <laughs> <laughs> bar is clutching oh no <laughs> uh okay so they're up in their room He's carried her up. He's kicked Marshmallow out. <laughs> Wait, what is her name? Uh, <laughs> Quinn. Oh, Quinn. Okay, what is I he, wanted he... to say he calls her Quinny, which okay, is I like say. a nickname from when she was little, which she hates. She's like, don't call me that. And he also calls her Little Scott. Because her last Ew. her last name's oh. Quinn Scott. I thought maybe it was like her brother's name. Oh. No, 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 like Emily. <laughs> well, yeah, <'cause> <laughs> I heard that sometimes they get together. <laughs> oh, sick. the effect we have had on you with this podcast, <laughs> my God! <laughs> but when they are doing it, he calls her love. Oh, oh. yeah, I like that. Feels British. Okay, so is he British? <laughs> <laughs> We're not ready for that yet. Oh God. <laughs> Parker dips his head between my thighs, rubbing the coarse hair of his stubble along the sensitive skin. (laughs) Okay, wait. (laughs) Rubbing the coarse hair. What? (laughs) Of his his stubble. (laughs) Yeah, I'm sorry. I I went ahead and cut to the chase. He's going down on her. Thank you, but no, I, I thought it was describing her coarse hair. And oh, I was just no. so thrown, like, whoa. <laughs> okay. She's, like, describing her okay. bush. It's his facial hair. This Got is it. also, from her point of view, there is no man point of view in this, just the woman's there we point go. of view. Sorry. This one's for you, Emily. Thank you. <laughs> Parker, yeah, yeah, uh, before dragging his nose... <laughs> This is a Vanessa book. <laughs> along, <laughs> along my folds and inhaling deeply. Inhaling deeply? <laughs> she's she's already going. <laughs> you smell so fucking good, Quinn. <laughs> you, oh my God. <laughs> Even when I try to joke about it, it's oh. You didn't touch your face once when we were uh, reading my last I episode. I like I'm like getting hot. I'm just like. <laughs> Shouldn't have wore that sweater. Using his fingers, he parts my lips, ex- exposing my th- <laughs> my throbbing clit. You're going so quiet. And this then is great. <laughs> flicks it with his tongue. Hi, Diane. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Oh, God, I cry. In response, my back arches from the bed and my hands find his hair to pull him closer against me. Without warning, he spreads me wide open and begins devouring me like a starved man eating his last meal. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Goodness. Alternate. I'm, like, clutching my little, like, uh, yeah, you're, my little necktie on my <laughs> necktie. Your hoodie. <laughs> What a, I'm not wearing a hoodie. Emily's wearing a strings necktie. on my hoodie, and I'm like, okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> be professional, I'm like, wow, this is like one paragraph. I know, I know. Oh I think God. it's because we've had like such a break from this, <laughs> yeah. you know. Um, without warning, he's okay. We're supposed to be wide open, <laughs> alternating between <laughs> between rough and fast strokes. He flicks my clit with his tongue. Then takes it between his lips and sucks, fattening his tongue and licking me from ass to clit oh over and God. over. <laughs> Vanessa book. <laughs> like a, How many like licks marshmallow. does it take to the get? <laughs> oh, this is like a little Kim song. Okay. <laughs> um, nothing has ever felt so good. No one has ever brought me so close to orgasm so quickly, so effortlessly. I mean, girls, same. I'm not even experiencing this, but I. This is getting <laughs> she's there. He circles his tongue around my entrance. That's what it was when entrance. I was trying to create the entrance. entrance. Yes. I was, I was going to say that, but I felt that was too. I was trying to remember was... what it was of like because yeah. last last year, <laughs> last week, whenever it was, what's her face being like the space between my legs, the place you where know? I needed you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he circles his tongue around my entrance. Spearing inside of me, 
then replaces his time. I like how you were almost like, I don't know if this book is going to be good to read. I didn't read. say that. I don't know. We'll see. You wanted you wanted wide shoes. I do. Compared to. I'll give it to yeah. you, babe. Yeah, you will. A couple times. Oh, my God. Just not a holiday one. <laughs> While his tongue thrashes along <laughs> my clit, he adds another finger fucking me roughly. The sound is so erotic that goosebumps breaking out break out along my arms, my nipples hardening as his as he tongue fucks my drenched pussy. See nipples. Yeah. <laughs> that's the yeah. <laughs> like that's that wow. Goodness. That's more of like you see when I do this, this happens. <laughs> Put it in action. Oh fuck, you're so responsive, love. Come for me. Just when I feel like I'm going to combust from the pressure of his fingers and the rhythm of his tongue, he rubs along my G-spot and my vision dances. Black spots sparkle behind my eyes as my hands tug desperately at his hair. The pressure, it's too much. Mm -hmm. I push back against the feeling, the sensation that I might that I might pee. What? <laughs> the, she's like, I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna tee tee. <laughs> <laughs> and let my orgasm take over <laughs> a, a sudden wet gush oh <laughs> leaves my body she pisses she pisses the bed she doesn't piss she, she squirts. squirts that ain't piss that squirt you're nasty. i have heard conflicting reports about what it is so. oh hmm. do they think that it's pee mostly it's I have, from the same place but it's not pee what? It's as close as you can be to it without being it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my or something God. like that. I can't remember. Oh but it is from arousal. Yeah. Just like a guy ejaculates. We women do it too, but obviously not all women do from it. From our kidneys to our bladder. <laughs> <laughs> to our... <laughs> oh my God. Well, my okay, I tremble, my entire body <laughs> quaking with the power of my orgasm, and through it all, he never stops his he never stops his assault of my clit with his tongue. So he's just <laughs> lapping it up, <laughs> just like gulp, gulp, gulp. assault. Uh, he's being, he's oh assaulting and having a wet gush take over, and he's just drinking it up like a straw. Like I am clutching so many pearls right now. <laughs> <laughs> and this is still not even a wide shoes um he brings it home <laughs> <laughs> i just pictured like the third base runner just going like, like bring it all bring, bring his tongue <laughs> <laughs> never letting up he never lets up his assault never <laughs> only when the tremors have subsided and i'm a panting wet mess on the bed beneath him does he pull back leaving one last gentle kiss to my oversensitive clit wow <sighs> holy fuck that was incredible he murmurs and you know what i he I didn't agree. talk about causal analysis once. He did, not, <laughs> no. he did not give a work presentation at all. I don't think she's wearing leggings. Uh, wow. He just like, that's a, that's one assault I'll get behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my my God. God. That's the quote for the episode. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> so now I skipped ahead to um, the first entrance because Vanessa had that highlight as well. I will tell well. you real quick that sh this is the first time she's ever done it and of course she's mortified. Wait, ever? She's a virgin? She no, she's oh. ever squirted. I okay. Oh. She's okay. never squirted before and so she immediately is like, I'm so sorry and he's like, I love that. Girl, I literally drank it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he loved it. He's like, the stuff that's in the bed is only what I couldn't get down. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so then he goes to grab a condom, and she's like, I'm on birth control. I'm clean. It's been a while. Let's We're raw old dog it. friends. You're literally a doctor. It's fine. <laughs> He's I know where I can get some meds if yes. I need it. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Uh, what state are they in? Could she get a sh -sh 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 -sh? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh... All okay, right. so he's like, let's let's rat dog. Let's yes, do it. he's into it. Parker lines his cock up with my entrance, then thrusts inside of me in one flex of his hips. 
driving himself to the hilt. I'm so full of his cock that I cry out, my chest arching against his waiting lips. You know what I think it is? Is that we've read either like such like nothing, but then also such like monster stuff that it has been a minute since I'm like, oh my God. Okay. (laughs) I mean, oh my God. Okay. This is just straightforward smut. Yes. Like it's it's good to be back. It's good good to to be back back. home. You know, like, yeah. Missed us. (laughs) Uh, Slowly, torturously slow, he pulls out of me. Then thrust back in with a hard slap of his hips. Was it his hips that slapped or was it his balls that slapped? She talks about that. Oh Oh my God. (laughs) Vanessa books are next level. (laughs) She talks about that later. But you probably won't read it, but later in the book. But we know, you know what? For those of you that want to read this, there is still plenty for you to read. Uh This is barely any. (laughs) Oh, okay. This is just the tip. (laughs) He pulls my foot up to his broad muscled shoulder so he can swivel his hips deeper, reaching a part of me that I never knew existed until this very moment. Parker quit it. Oh He's a doctor. He's very familiar with anatomy. <laughs> with my foot on his shoulder and my leg hoisted high in the air, she's flexible. Mm-hmm. He begins to f- he begins to fuck me furiously. <laughs> He's mad. <laughs> His thrusts are punishing and so deep that I can feel the head of him nudging against my cervix. Oh. So deep that it hurts just the smallest amount, but mixed with the pleasure. He sends me to euphoria. His strong body, wait, his strong, powerful body hovers over me as he fucks me enough. To bring me to the brink of another mind-blowing orgasm, <laughs> even without him touching my clit. I'm... I can't even finish the sentence as he pounds into me harder, faster, with each thrust. Come for me, Quinn. <laughs> I want to feel you coming around my cock. I'm just reading him like Phantom of the Opera now. Why are you... you know? <laughs> what is happening? You sound like one of the... <laughs> The Christmas ghost. I was oh thinking, yeah. I like, somehow <laughs> went to like Phantom of the Opera where he's like, "Sing for me." Oh, okay. <laughs> he grunts, running into me. His intense eyes pouring into mine. We haven't. They're not dark, but they're intense. They're intense. Before he can even drop his thumb to my clit, I explode. Fireworks detonating behind my vision for the second time. The Star Spangled Banner playing in the distance. She's like, ah. <laughs> I come with him buried inside me. My boss. I'm just thinking if she like squirts again, it's like a, like a, he's inside of her. So it's like your thumb on the end of a hose. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes everywhere. Oh no. Uh, I, I come it works with, like that. <laughs> I come with him buried inside of me. My body spasming and my back arching off the bed. Each drag of his cock. In and out of me, sending me higher and higher. <laughs> a different planet, an alternate universe. <laughs> now this one's on ayahuasca. She's right. really <laughs> guide her through. She it. is going for it. It's indescribable. It's perfect. That's it, love. Just like that. His brows are pinched in concentration, and I can tell by his expression and the way that he plays my body that Parker isn't done. Once the aftershocks of my orgasms have receded, he pulls out of my body, even as I protest, and lets out a hoarse laugh. Nay. Oh. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> See? Getcha. My eyes flit down, flit down to his cock, glistening, glistening with my juices. Oh. <laughs> St- still harder than ever. You didn't come, I pant. Because I'm just getting started, Quinn. Good lord. Get on your stomach. So we can yeah. stop there. So cliffhanger, if y'all want to know what they do after <laughs> Read that. the book. You can read the I book. Feel like that's enough orgasms. That's I think also, that was like three. That's oh also only forty four percent in. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, Vanessa books. Oh my god. So much more. I think after this. Uh, she says, I take back what I said about there not being an ungentlemanly bone in his body because the bone is definitely his cock. <gasps> Get it? So. Wow. So then they. So they're. Sweet they little small So town. she's like, you know what? I am. Um, 
I Christmas. love Christmas. I love Christmas. It's <laughs> real good. If this no, is what Christmas is like. No, she's definitely not sold. <gasps> she's still like, why don't you prove it to me some more? No, she's like, I love sex, but I don't love Christmas. So he so. wears a Santa outfit and he's like, <laughs> he does Santa one day, a Grinch another day, the oh elf the God. next day. Reindeer play. <laughs> he, um... They, he takes her ice skating, Classic. which is somewhere that they've gone before when mm. they were younger. Okay. Um. So she liked ice skating a lot when she was younger. So, and then they run into Santa Claus, and he makes her take a picture, Ugh. and they, the three of them, take a picture together, and she tells Santa He's what she really wants fucking good in bed. For <laughs> this guy. See this guy. I went like past the North Pole. Santa, <laughs> what do you think squirting is? Yeah. <laughs> Santa, is it normal to you? Does Mrs. Claus do that? <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> Barbara is speechless. Oh my her God. curls are clutching her. <laughs> so I think I think also he hired Santa, but they don't really come out and say oh. that. But he like knows her full name. He calls her Quinn Scott. Oh, like a like a Christmas miracle for her yeah. to believe. Yeah. Okay, so maybe it's magic. I don't know. But maybe Parker hired him, or just like told him. I don't know. Or maybe it is real. Yeah, maybe it was really <laughs> maybe Santa. Santa's real. She did say he looked really good. He looked just like Santa. He had a real beard. All right. <laughs> um, she basically tries to give him an out after the first time they hooked up. Like, it's fine. We were drinking eggnog. Like, I'm going back to New York. You know, mm. like, it's fine. And he gets kind of offended. Good. Aww. And he's like, no, like, I like you. I want to do this more and so she definitely starts to just lean in and like we're gonna have the best week ever and right. you're yeah. never gonna forget me oh there's a naughty doctor scene at she has to get an exam. his practice after hours where they 100 percent play doctor oh, oh my god he puts on gloves he's <gasps> like put your feet in the stirrups and scoot down oh my god no nope. <laughs> No, nope. oh, nope. no, Emily, you were on timeout. <laughs> He's like, now you're gonna feel a little pinch. <laughs> oh, to hear the specular. She's un- yeah. no. unhinged. We ruined her. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, I, w- I won't give away the whole book. Yeah, but they. It seems like one that you you read twice, like yeah, one I willingly, liked, and then I another to look into this so it is one it that does. you would recommend others to read yeah yeah, yeah. fun not too long super raunchy super yeah. dirty yeah. i think so let's get into the reviews because yeah. i think that is kind of where a lot of the reviews that i read where people were expecting a wholesome hallmark oh they're scandalized and they were not have not, not ready for yes. squirting they were clutching <laughs> yes <laughs> So I'll I'll just read some and then I'll kind of like yeah. Touch What's on the it. overall ratings of it? So on um, there's eleven thousand, twelve thousand ratings on Goodreads and it's a three point five seven. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's definitely the. It's a lot of reviews, but they were not expecting. They were. Yes. Yes. They were expecting uh, yeah. something else. See, this is why you need to trust us for our Goodread. Goodreads yes. reviews yeah, about we'll whether or not it's super spicy. Yeah. We, we will get on it. Yeah. yeah. Explicit language. <laughs> okay, so Mona said, the only thing I liked about it was the cute cover. I didn't find this <laughs> book cute or festive. I wasn't expecting the explicit sex scenes in this book, <laughs> as some refer to as spicy. It was so cringy. <laughs> as some refer to as spicy, this is a novice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, she saw this like, oh, that looks cute. I want to read a Hallmark movie. Mm-mm. Nothing else. Mm-mm. Aside from that, all the repetitive descriptive words really got on my nerves. Most notably, corded muscles. And the amount of times that I had to read that Dr. Parker shows off his corded muscles in his sexy Henley shirt. They oh, did. Sh- it reminded me so hard of the comfy pants. Oh, okay. like they really described it. I kind of wanted to look up how many times they mentioned a Henley shirt. Dude, Henley shirts are having a huge moment in, in romance novels really? these days. And uh, one of my favorite ones, which we'll have to do uh, in the new year. The love hypothesis. Oh, he, yeah. He wears a Henley, and they mentioned it a few times. And it's just like, oh, like I feel like it's always like, like the Henley was like made for him. Oh. And they, they I don't know, they're because they, there they're, apparently are women out there who are like, that's my kink. I fucking love Henley. <laughs> like yeah. you're just like a casual T-shirt. Well, they're like kind of like she calls him like a lumberjack a lot oh, of times. Oh, so they're like a, like an undershirt, like or like a not the undershirt, like a you know the thermals. The, yeah, it mm-hmm. has like the little buttons, mm-hmm. and they're kind of like tight. Yeah, yeah, More manly. Yeah. So Mona hates that. 
I like that she also continued reading it. I like that she enjoyed the cover. <laughs> Even though she was like, I didn't expect this, but let's see what else they do. She said, I find it amusing that some of the reviews I read or watch were always mentioned triggers, but for any mentions of like body type, race, bullying, other kind of stuff, but no mention or worry about porn, squirting, <laughs> or all the highly explicit things mentioned in this book. Oh my God. No, because that's the stuff we expect. <laughs> She's like, at least give us a little heads up. I'm not a prude, but when I pick up a festive Christmas book, at least make it about that. I didn't DNF because I just hate to do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But I wanted it to count towards my 2022 book. There the numbers. Yeah, there I gotta get the numbers. It's the numbers. <laughs> so Anna said probably the worst book I've read so far. Wow. Oh my God. The amount of conversations were just super cringe. She hated the pet names. She he she hated knew, him that he said love. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that they were that bad. Uh, she she had kept worse. calling him Doctor Grant too. Uh, that's literally his oh, name. That's his name. name. Yeah. I know. I was like, that sounds hot. If like, dating a what? doctor, I'd be calling him Doctor Parker. Parker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doctor Parker. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> before she said, before he knew she liked him. Um, that they were already kissing, and that she grabbed his he grabbed her thigh without consent in the car. And I was like, they've literally known each other forever. Yeah. And she's like super hot for him. She was okay. She liked, I don't, I don't, didn't, was it an aggressive grab? No, it was a little toe kiss. No, but he's just like touching her thigh in the car. Oh yeah. In the car, she was like trying to like ignore him and Mm. he like grabbed her leg to get her attention. It wasn't like right. didn't it doesn't sound. I think that the only assault was on her clit. So yeah, which she <laughs> it was she wanting. needed yeah. more. Yeah. <laughs> so Esther basically hated how fast paced this was. She hated that they were kissing in the first chapter, and she said it felt like a Netflix Christmas movie, and she meant this as an insult. Well, it is, but it's one where they fuck. <laughs> Also, it's fast paced. It's 130 pages. It's a novella. It's, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be faster than all right, all right, right. Like you maybe check like the page count, and then mm-hmm. you can see if it's like that. Usually, lets us know what kind of a burn it is. Yeah. Someone um, basically hated it, but they said that they were gonna give it two stars just because of the spice. I like <laughs> that they're like I hate it. But I respect it. The other yeah. end of the spectrum of um, I hated I the plot. Ready for this. Yeah, <laughs> love the porn. Yeah, <laughs> enough to give it another star. That's valid. Yeah, I, you know I like that one. He worked for that star. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a good. Uh, I lo- uh, the I think it's the Vanessa reads are always a a special type. But yeah. I think that that's what's so good about having like the two of y'all like bring your books because there are like there's so many different genres. Like I yeah. said, we haven't even touched on most of them that. It's fun to get the different things from both of you, you know, especially when there's ones that you guys both liked or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just nice to be all encompassing. I was thinking about this earlier and Becca or <laughs> Becca, what? Mm. Uh, <gasps> Barbara, as our <laughs> re- as our resident Taylor Swifty. Yes. Is the and and fanfic mm. <laughs> is there a Taylor and Travis fanfic? I don't want to know, but there's got to be hundreds by now. Do you feel like you, as a Swifty, mm. that that is something that you would want to read or no? God, no, no. I, you don't want to mm. hear about him assaulting her. But. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Emily, <laughs> don't talk about her that um, way. <laughs> I mean, no. Yeah. I don't know why that just popped in my mind. Like, I was thinking like about Like, if it. I'm reading a story about somebody who is, uh, you know, famous, uh, like, it's a movie actress, and he plays mm-hmm. hockey. Like, fine. I can do that. But I don't want to read. F- I think the fanfics about real people are, yeah. are cringy. In real relationships or, yeah. like, real friendships. And I, I think yeah. I've just spent too many time or around, too much time around, like, you, like, Jeff and everywhere. I'm yeah. just like, I see that like they, they get recognized at restaurants and I'm like, oh, this is so awkward. So like yeah. reading fanfic about real people is just it's so much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but there's probably some good ones out there. Oof. We'll have to get into fanfic in the new year. We'll have to think about all the stuff that we want for the new year of um we have like, so we'll many see. ideas. Yeah. We and we've gotten so many great uh recommendations from everybody through yes. our email, through uh messages, all the stuff on all of our socials and mm-hmm. uh what was the the mistletoe bet what was the author 
Um, uh, Marin Moore. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, Mistletoe Bet by Marin Moore. That's a good one. It sounds like a good one. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you want to read more, you should. Marin Moore. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for, like, bringing in a great book, Vanessa. And I hope that all of our listeners continue to listen and continue to rate, review, like, subscribe, share, everything. Any possible button under an account that you can do, please do for us. We do appreciate it. Do all the it. buttons. Do all yeah. the buttons. <laughs> and let us know, like, what kind of things that you're liking and, um, you know, anything that you're wanting from us in the new year. And we'll see what we can do. Yeah. All right. Well, see you next Tuesday. Bye.